Welcome to the Echographics video tutorial. This session will introduce the various elements available to you in an Echographics download. The initial Races and PP screen has links to the various Platinum PPs and a grid with information regarding today's races. Clicking on a row of the grid or a race number from the carousel at the top of the page will launch a race. Navigation within a race is easy. Clicking on any of the five main navigation icons will take you to the information screen for that category. We will go over each category in this tutorial, starting with the bubble capper and ending with notes. The bubble capper screen is the default opening information for a race. This screen contains some of the most important and powerful information provided in Echographics. The three graphs of early, middle, and finish paint a portrait of how the race may play out. The early pace graph shown here illustrates the positioning of the horses in the first part of the race. The higher a bubble is positioned on the graph, and the more to the right a bubble is positioned, the more likely a horse is to be on or near the early lead. The typical running style of each horse is represented by the color of the bubble, with green for front runners, yellow for stalkers, and red for the trailers. Mousing over an individual bubble will display a tooltip that gives all of the relevant data for the horse with that program number. A tap on a bubble on a touchscreen device also works. The middle pace graph is similar to the early pace graph. It just occurs later in the race, after four furlongs in a sprint and six furlongs in a route. The finish graph is the ultimate predictor at assessing a horse's chances of winning the race. The top picks are in the upper right quadrant, with contenders in the lower right quadrant, and outsiders in the upper left quadrant. You can also use the data from some of the other screens to help interpret the data found in the bubble capper. You do have the option to change the order of the graphs, putting the finish graph at the top by clicking on the settings icon. You can change many of the settings so that the initial views are set to the way you like them, as you can see here. The signal screen displays icons that provide detailed information regarding each runner. Green signals are positive aspects, yellow signals highlight notable information, and red signals are warning signs. The more green signals a horse has, the more likely the horse is going to run a good race. A horse that is in the contender or outsider quadrant and has lots of green signals has a chance to make a good showing and many times can be played along with the top picks. Mousing over an icon will give the details of the signal that is represented by that symbol. A tap on a touchscreen device also works when used on an icon that is in one of the rows of data. The speed class icon launches the race graph or horse graph screen, depending on which you have set as the default screen. The race graph shows the last five equibase speed figures for each horse. You can select and deselect horses on the graph by clicking the check marks on and off in the legend. If you mouse over an individual point on the graph, the details for the horse's performance will be given including the Equibase speed figure, date of race, track code, and horse's finishing position. Toggling the button to horse graph brings up access to the speed and class graphs for each individual horse. Clicking the radio button next to a horse's name in the legend will bring up that horse's information. The green line is a graph of the Equibase speed figures for the horse for each of his last 12 races, and the blue line is the class rating of each of those races. The fuchsia colored line is the class rating of today's race. You can mouse over the data points on this graph as well to see specific information, same as in the race graph. The player graphs are a display of trainer, jockey, sire, or dam data. The bar graph is the default screen. A proprietary formula is used combining win percentage, return on investment, and other factors pertaining to statistical patterns relevant to each horse in today's race to determine the percentages that are shown. The top percentage in each category 
is listed as a positive signal on the signal screen. Toggling the radio button from bar graph to pie chart changes the type of display. The default can be changed by using settings. The note screen is a spot to view any notes that you have entered regarding a horse or the race. Click on the add note button to add any info you want to remember about a horse. You can also enter race information at the bottom of the page. When you are on any of the other screens, a mouse over the horse's name or a tap on a touchscreen device will bring up a convenient link to add a note about a horse. These notes will end up on the note screen. Clicking on view all notes will not only bring up information from today's card, but any previous notes about the horse from previous races will be shown as well. If you have already entered notes using your computer or tablet at home, going to mobile.trackmaster.com using your smartphone and bringing up your Echographics file is a great way to have your information at your fingertips at the track. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. See you next time.